In this short video, we're going to be setting up the BLE Shark Nano. I just got my unit in and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up and how easy it is to maintain it. First thing you're going to see is this welcome screen is going to ask you to connect to your BLE Shark Nano over a Wi-Fi connection. You're going to be looking for this SSID, BLE Shark Setup, connect to this. Once you do that, your device is going to prompt you with a username and password. You're going to be putting it into the portal that pops up. After you put in your username and password, it's going to want to connect to a Wi-Fi network to pull the update for you. So it's going to find a list of Wi-Fi networks that are around you, select the one that's yours, and then put in the password, and then it'll start downloading and looking for updates after it resets. This is amazing when it comes to maintenance because you don't have to go flash anything. You don't have to update it in any other crazy way. It will literally just update itself for you. And in the future, it's going to say, hey, you got another update. Do you want to install? You hit yes, and then it will install for you. This is the most efficient, easy, beginner-friendly gadget when it comes to pen testing because it just takes care of itself for you. You don't have to do any other work beside this. After it pulls the latest update, it will restart, and you're able to start pen testing. This is a really great gadget for beginners because of the fact that it takes care of itself, and everything is ready to go after you do this. So it's almost plug-and-play. You just need to connect it to the Internet so it can grab the updates for you. That's it for this video. I just wanted you guys to have an understanding of what to expect when you get your BLE Shark Nano in the mail. I will be making other videos in the future about more in-depth settings and what to adjust and my recommendations for you. But for now, this is just a setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, remember that safety is an illusion. illusion.